Hey, what's going on, everybody? Your boy JC. Everyday thoughts is in the building. He has mommy issues. Uh, special guest me tonight, Miss Kimberly Moore. So, hey, what's going on? Hey, we are gonna get it right in a minute. I hope so. <laughs> <laughs> I guess they don't want us to talk about mommy issues. I guess not, but um. Uh... But yeah, like just introduce yourself real quick. Let's get on with the discussion. Yeah, um, but like he's like like we were saying before, when um, mothers are raising sons, a lot of them um, tend to be over smothering, and they tend to do everything for them because as moms and wives and stuff, we get so caught up in taking care of the home you know, taking care of the kids, you know, we're cleaning, we're washing, we're doing all these things. And sometimes we forget that um, we are supposed to teach and we are supposed to teach our kids to have some sense of independency and have some sense of being able to maneuver through life and take care of themselves. Sometimes we get so caught up with doing everything ourselves that we just, we do everything without teaching them how important it is to be able to do this for yourself, especially when it comes to boys. And sometimes moms, we um, spoil our boys. We make them, you know, soft. Um, and now we see it a lot more in today's society that there are a lot of young men who don't have a sense of independence. I mean, you have some people who are, maybe 30, 35 years old, a men who still live with their parents. And, you know, <laughs> hey, hey, you know, I'm not, I'm not, you know, knocking anybody. Hey, people do, you know, however they want to. But, you know, how, how are you going to be able to be the leader of a home if you have no sense of independency to be able to lead yourself? Um, so, yeah, I mean, you know, in some men, when it's to the point where, hey, some wives get so much pressure on them to be like the mother that they can't even be themselves. They can't even be the wife that they desire to be because they're hold to a standard of being the the wife and the mother that the son is accustomed to. Yeah, I mean, but like I said, I mean, it ain't, it ain't your job to baby him, not, not your job to pet him. Um, be his mother. Uh, like I said, nothing wrong with, and like I said, nothing wrong with doing things for him. But he has to have some kind of sense of independency for himself, the kind of vision, mm -hmm. kind of goal for his own self before he tries to even go out there and try to date uh, or he try to pursue a woman. Right. He has to have good uh, work that he has to be sentimentally found. You know, sound before he has to try to go out there and try to find somebody. You know, because. What's going to end up happening is you're going to end up going out here and damaging a woman because you're not ready or you might back out because, oh, I'm not ready or not ready for this to go to the next level because you haven't really, uh, really know who you are. So it's always important for a lot of men to get their own identity, what they're about, you know, have have values, have um, core beliefs about themselves before they try to understand a woman, you know. But right. This day and age, you don't really hear a lot of men talking like that. As far as I'm sitting here on the way to my finances in check, my health in check, my my uh, everything to be in line before I go out there trying to pursue a woman. And you don't really hear a lot of men encouraging that type of behavior. You know, you have a lot of men that encourage. You know, just go out there and um, forget about what you can your stuff together. Just find a woman that has her stuff together and leech over her, or or just try to get her. Or just, or just try to get a woman that already got stuff established instead of the other way around. And that kind of mm -hmm. handicaps a man's development because he doesn't really feel he needs to put in the work because he feel like he's always got to be handed to or handicapped by his mom or just by society in general, you know? Right. And um, I was going to say sometimes you have those type of guys who – may have been um, given everything, his mom doing everything for him and all that. So when you have those guys, they especially look for independent women. They look for women who carry their own, who who will do whatever. Because when you find a woman like that, um, she is so, she, she handles business. She take her business, 
she do whatever it is she have to do. She keep it rolling or whatever. So he knows that sometimes if he's lacking, she's going to take up the load. She's going to do this. She's going to do that. So some of them find those women in, in a very low place, in a low self-esteem place, in a place where, you know, she just want a man to be there. He doesn't have to be independent. He doesn't have to be up to par, but she's to the point where she's tired of waiting for the right man and all this stuff. So, you know, he will attach himself to that woman. And tell her everything she need that, that she want to hear, everything she been missing, everything he feel like she need to hear to get her to a place where like, oh, okay, well, this is a man for me. He make all the empty promises and stuff. And then boom, he moves in with her. He moves in with her. Then he <laughs> lives off of her. He he pretty much is a, a grown child. But as yep. women... You know, we have to hold ourselves accountable to that too. We can't allow them to do that. Yeah, you can't even allow them to do it because he will take it. You know, mm -hmm. they all saying you a mouse or crumb. He will take a, you know, take a bite of the cookie. So you always got to be cautious of that too. You know, right. don't let your insecurity and let your loneliness dictate a situation with a man. You know, just be you know perfectly sound. Like he doesn't meet your criteria. You got to learn learn when to let go. You know. Right. We're trying to hold on to stuff. We're trying to, you know, hope, hope, and, hope and pray something's going to change up. Because mm -hmm. my time 10 is not going to change up unless it's something that he wants to do for himself. So, you know, you always right. got to be cautious of that as well, too. Right. And I think that, you know, when a man have a mindset that, okay, I'm going to take on a wife, um, I'm going to marry this woman. If a man goes into that with a mindset that, this is my priority. This woman is my priority. Yes, I love my mom, but because this number one, she comes first. And I don't understand why is it that you, some men can't see that. Like, no matter what, your mom is going to be your mom. You love your mom when you're an adult, you move on, and then you live your life. And as mothers, sometimes we have to, step back and stop being so possessive over our sons that we can't allow them to go in society and live their life. We have to let go. Like you said, we have to stop to get, take the teddy out your mouth. Like we got to let you go. <laughs> like you're an adult. Like I can't, I had my time to live. I had my time to raise you. I had my time to live my own life and to be with, you know, whoever I was with. So I have to allow you to have that time too. And it's hard for some mothers to do that. Like I see so many relationships where the mother-in-law don't like the, the daughter-in-law or the daughter-in-law um, have issues with the mother-in-law because every, they play a tug of war. It's like, you know, I, I want to be his number one. But as mothers, we got to learn how to step back, you know? Yeah, I, mean, I just say, just uh, just give, your, give yourself some, give your son some confidence that and he did a good job and he's going to find a good woman mm -hmm. and you raise him right to make good decisions and, you know, learn how to, like, like you said, just take a step back and understanding that, you know, I did a good job, you know, and uh, I do trust whoever he chooses because this is the person I raised. So if it messes right. up, you know, it messes up, I'm still going to be there for you. But at the same time, though, that's on. I got to let you fall off the bike once you can kind of realize where you, do, where you messed up at so you can get back, you can get back up a lot stronger, you know? Right. You know, you're not going to, like I said, you're not going to learn if somebody can give you the answers to the to the test, you know? Yeah. It's not going to learn. You're going to be hindering your, your own development, your own progress, you know? Yeah. Absolutely. Yeah, though, and also, too, we talk about, you know, mother-in-laws getting getting involved. Uh, like I said, there got to be a time where a man got to, like, kind of tell him, like, look, we're good, you know, and kind of you know, go forward because, like I said, woman not gonna really trust a man who she doesn't feel isn't really detached for his mother, or he can't make a he can't make his own decision, or his mom was his mom always has to make every every decision for him. You know, that's not really what she's supposed to have a man. You know, right. she was going to be able to be sound minded, make his own decision, good or bad, and you know, go with that. You know, 
don't want right. to have to like second guess them, you know. Right. Absolutely. What's going on, everybody? Is everybody all right? Yeah, and also too, some people they they'll sit up there, and, you know, they'll do the Bible as far as when the wife or when the mother, and then some people they get upset about, or well, what about when the mom reaches old, um, you know, a retirement age? Would you not put her uh, in front of your wife, etc.? But uh, what's your take on that? Well, if if a mother gets to the point where you know she can't take care of herself or anything like that, and if she only has one child then um, it would be up to that husband and that wife to have a discussion as far as, hey, you know, are we going to take her in? Because I know nobody wants to say, hey, well, I'm going to put my mom in a nursing home or anything like that. You know, most cases, people really don't want to do that. Um, and, or, you know, you have to uh, call somebody in and see about them or whatever, depending on the different state that they're in. But, you know, it's a very demanding uh, lifestyle to be able to take care of an elderly person. So, you know, there shouldn't be an issue if, hey, I would have to take on this responsibility to take care of my mother. But it still has to be a conversation and an agreement upon the husband and the wife to um, take this on. Like, it's all about, you know, the lines. Because once you get married, you marry that person and everything that comes along with that person um is a part of you now so but you still have to have a conversation because your spouse is number one so everybody has yeah. to be on board yeah everybody has to you know communicate and try to see where everybody can find the common ground that whether y'all whether you allow her to stay together or right. you know, like i said just something that you got to make a decision that's why it's always important to to figure out who you're marrying, whoever you're laying down, whoever you're having kids, we always really important to, you know, right. to try to see y'all are transparent, y'all can communicate, you know, quit just being blinded by the lust and the body, mm -hmm. and actually get a chance to know who that person is on a deeper level, you know? Right. And that's, that's where we fall short a lot of times because we get caught up in, oh, okay, yeah, she, he fine, or, you know, she fine, you know what I'm saying? But he's also a mama's boy too and he you know what i'm saying you're gonna have to fight for your space in his life so how fine is he then you're not really gonna be thinking that he's that fine you know when you gotta fight with his mama every day about you know well who's cooking i'm gonna go to my mama house and get a plate because he he said his mama cooked better than you like that's that stuff that is crazy <laughs> like there are people who actually do that and it's like wow like that's to i mean like that's crazy to me. So, you know, there are people who definitely cross those lines of disrespect when it comes to it. It's like, I just feel like this right here. If you cannot, if you, if you're a person who's doing stuff like that, that's, that's, you have no respect for your wife. It's that's, that's disrespectful. I think, Hey, I don't have anything against mama, but once I leave, once I leave my mom and dad and I take on a husband, like that's my number one priority. My husband, and my kids, my family, my immediate family. That's my number one priority. Yeah, because you have some some of they want to go in and out of the relationship and try to mean, try to tell you what to do, what not to do. It's like, you know. Right. Let him make his own decision, you know. Yeah. I mean. And it's yes, best it to find these things out before you get married because, like um, Willow said, it, it's definitely it's a strain on a marriage. It, it's definitely a strain because you constantly have a tug of war. And not only the mothers, but you have the sister-in-laws. In, sister and some of those can be crazy, too. Some of those can be worse than the mother. <clears throat> Yeah, that's why like I said that's why it's really important to sit down and uh, just know people, go to the barbecue, right. go to cookout. You know, right. to try to try to spend some time with your with your partner's parents and to try to see mm -hmm. y'all can connect. You know, and um, yeah. make sure y'all compatible too. You know, because right, see how they you know, function. You know how they do without each other, how they do around each other. It's a lot that we should be paying attention to versus just getting caught up in how I look and how good it is in the bedroom. I guess. 
you know, just try to like invite everybody out and just try to do a meet and greet, you know, your parents, meet their parents or, mm -hmm. you know, just, just try to see, try to create that, that, that family atmosphere, you know? Right. Yeah. You try to have mm -hmm. that support system. Mm hmm No doubt. Uh, William said, what else, what's up, Jay? That woman you talked to, look, formal, she used to be my friend until she blocked me. Hello, Miss Lady. You talking good stuff. Hey. Yeah, what's going on with you? But yeah, though, like I said, going back to like mommy issues as far as how can that really affect your relationship? It really can. You know, you're not really um, careful. You're not really stern. You're not really part of your decision making. Um, you know, you just have to understand that you gotta. You gotta understand that you're. Your partner isn't your mother. She's not your mother. She doesn't want to compete against your mother, and she should get the kind of respect, kind of effort long term. And, you know, you just want everything to be, you know, running smoothly with, with right. each other, you know? Right. Because I know you, I know you love your mother, but at the end of the day, you're not, when it's time to go, you know, lay down, you're not laying down with your mother. So, you know, the, I mean, the expectations are crazy. Like on and on every other aspect, you want me to be like your mother, except for that aspect. You know, it's crazy. I think it's, I think it's, it's, it's some definitely some issues there that has to be. You know, I think it's on the mother and it's not just on the man, but it's on the mother too. I think the mothers have to stop doing that. I think they need to learn how to let go and allow their boys to really be men. And, and just uh, allow them to make their own mistakes. You know, you might see that that woman is not good for him, but allow him to eat, tell him, if you tell him once, let it go. Allow him to make the decision. Allow him to find out for for himself. You know, it's, it's on the mother and it's on the son. Like if, if you as a son desire to be a certain type of man, like some stuff you gotta leave behind. You, you always have to leave your parents. And live your own life. So, you know, it's all about becoming your own person. Yeah, and I that's why it's important to find that mate because the first supposed to be working with you, so y'all can become each other mm -hmm. better half. You know. Yeah. You don't want to be in a situation where you're working so hard and the person not really any kind of attention, any kind of affection. There's no kind of growth within a relationship. You know. Right. And it's very stagnant. You know, you're not going nowhere. Or y'all kind of like, she asks you, where, where are we going? Or, you know, you're probably your plan. You don't really have an answer to it. So it's like, you know, the blind leading the blind, you know? So you always got to be cautious of that as well, too. Yeah. And it's just unfair overall to have to try to live up to someone else's false expectations of you. Like, the best relationships are relationships that where people can accept the people just for who they are and allow them to be who they are without saying, oh, comparing you to your mother and anybody else who you can find to compare them to, you know? Yeah, like I said, you got to understand you're your own unique individual and you got to realize that, you know, you will make mistakes, but it's also important to capitalize it. That way you can make your own uh, evaluation of what you need to do right, what you need to do wrong going forward. Once right. again, you keep handicapping that person, keep doing stuff for them, then they're not going to be able to see their own mistakes if you keep trying to correct them. Mm -hmm. Willow said, my husband and mom thanks to my husband is her man and our son belong to her. He has told her several times to back off, but she won't listen like an assessed lover. Yeah, see, that's a little, I don't... And when you find an issue like that, then, you know, mom definitely has separation anxiety. Um, you know, she didn't cut that cord. She did not cut it. And she probably refused to cut it. But that's where you definitely have to have some boundaries um, put up. Definitely boundaries have to be put up and the boundaries have to be stuck to. As a matter of fact, mom just going to have to like take a break for a minute, especially if she's being disrespectful. Yeah, any kind of disrespect. I mean, sometimes you got a lot of people out too. 
Mm-hmm. Yeah. Family, yes. family. Absolutely. And a lot of times it will be family members that you have to cut off because those are the people who will do the most damaging things to you. Because yeah, they don't like have it right. Yeah, then also too, sometimes like you're you know, she don't really approve of who you're dating or she may be a different mm-hmm. color and you may not approve of it. Mm-hmm. You know, it might be it may cause tension, but I feel like y'all two connecting to each other then. You know, nothing you can do about that, especially if you think the God is, you know, buying y'all together, then there you know, ain't much you can really can do or say to you, you know. Right. You and you got you know. Hey, wife come first. Ha- what they say, happy life, happy wife. Not, <laughs> not yeah. look, not happy mama, happy life. I never heard that <laughs> term. So nah, you know, yeah. hey, better get on board. Yeah, you got anything else to say? Ah, <sighs> man, I don't, I don't, I don't have anything else to say. But um, I know that can this can be a this can be a, a tough subject. Um, it can be a hard one, you know, and it can be hard. I've been there personally, so I know that it's it's definitely a hard conversation and um difficult to go through. Um, but yeah, hey, you can survive it. But that husband and wife got to be on one accord if they want to make it work in the midst of it. Yeah. We got to appreciate you. Uh, hold on one second. We have one more, one more comment. She said, I refuse to be around her. She wouldn't call him 50 times a day. If he don't answer the phone, then start calling my phone. I think mom <laughs> need to be blocked. <laughs> nah, that's the yeah, yeah. Mama probably have to be blocked for a little while. Yeah. So. Well, yeah, though. Appreciate you joining me. Uh, until next time, you have a, you have a safe one. All right. You too. Yeah. Good night.